Listener Production. Hey there, it's Matt Layton with you. The Workplace Relations Minister has shut down calls for government intervention in the fight between Warfies and DP World. Tony Burke urges both sides to negotiate fair pay, stressing every other business expects to negotiate with their workforce. He also slammed DP World for trying political answers instead of negotiating like other companies. Aussie jobs numbers took a tumble in December with businesses cutting 65,000 positions and hours worked dropping too. While the unemployment rate held steady at 3.9%, it's the first sign in months the hot jobs market might be simmering down. Two teens face murder charges over the death of Melbourne doctor Ash Gordon. The 33-year-old was found fatally injured near his Doncaster home on Saturday. The 16-year-old boys also face charges of aggravated burglary and theft. Queensland's new leadership is taking a fresh look at the 2032 Olympics. Premier Stephen Miles has launched an independent review of all planned infrastructure, including the Gabba rebuild and other proposed venues. He's told Nine he seeks good value and wants the Games to unite, not divide Queenslanders. Queenslanders need certainty that uh, this is the right plan, or if there are alternatives, then I'd like to embrace those alternatives. Of course, if there is a way to make sure the Games deliver a better outcome for Queenslanders, I want to see that. And someone is walking around Queensland's Moreton Bay unaware they're $1 million richer. They bought a gold lotto ticket in Warner and won big but haven't registered it. Travis Head has just notched up a century as Australia builds its lead over the West Indies on day two of the Adelaide Test. Two fielders on the leg side for Travis Head and one drives through colour to the applause of the Adelaide Oval crowd. Audio there from Listener and Aussie firebrand Max Purcell is showing fight at the Australian Open. After losing the first set to Casper Ruud, he roared back to snatch the second in a dramatic tiebreak. Ruud has since claimed the third.